So today, all I really wanted to do was talk to you a little bit more about inspiration and where the inspiration comes from when we work. When I think about inspiration, what I try and think about is what's going to be a unique feature when I do a haircut? What's going to make that haircut different from any other haircut that I've done before? What is the thing that makes it different? That's the essence of when I think of a look. So as an example for this look, it's an interesting look. There's a lot going on. Frey is a cool model, so that's easy. But when I work, I want to think, how am I going to push it to make something just a little bit different come out of it? Now, it could be styling. It could be cutting. It could be an element of both of them. And I think also, when you think about these things, it also comes into a bit of inspiration as well. Where do you find inspiration from? Well, it's endless, isn't it? You can go and look for hairdressers. You can look at art. Personally, I like to look at nature a lot. I find nature to be something that's very real in what we do. It's something that humans love to always see. No one will ever look at a tree and think it's not beautiful. So that is really what we try and do. We always try and take a bit of inspiration from nature when we work. And I think one beautiful thing about nature is it's always about repeating patterns. So in nature, we have the ability to look at patterns and understand them. Now, anyone who cuts in a geometric way understands that a lot of haircuts is about patterns. And so when I work, I try and create a pattern in my work, something that's going to represent nature and something that's going to give a feeling to it that we can all relate to. And I think that's the thing about style as well. We all have our unique style, but there's some things unique to everyone that for some reason we just enjoy watching every time. And so what I'm going to do with this haircut is I'm going to also bring in an element of styling to it. And hopefully, at the end of it, you'll be able to see the inspirations quite clearly. I'm inspired by three different animals. I'm inspired by snakes. I'm inspired by birds, and I'm inspired by waves as well. This is my favorite bit, by the way. What's up, guys? How you doing? It's always nice at Salon International because you always run into friends. Yes. Hi, how you doing? So Slate Hair Education essentially is uh, the birth child of my business partner, Gregory. He uh, found me as a young lad and he taught me uh, the ways of cutting hair essentially. And he really uh, gave me a unique understanding of life. Because when he trained me, he trained me for free. He just took me under his wing and taught me without asking for anything back. And uh, after he trained me up, I went and I worked at Sassoon for a bit. And afterwards he said to me, I want to start an education company. Do you know anyone good? And I went, I'll, I'll join please. I'd like to be a part of this. And, uh, and from then, it's, it's just snowballed every year, getting bigger and better. Um, you know, we're really lucky to come from an ethos of giving back. And I think that's something that's so important in everything we do, you know. Without him, I wouldn't be where I am today. And we try and do the same when we teach. We try and give people a skill set to improve their lives with, make their job easier, make their inspiration easier. Because before I learned how to cut hair, I used to have an idea, but I never really knew how to put it down. So my idea was like here, and what I ended up was there. So once he taught me, all of a sudden, my ideas and the end result started to come together nicely. And having that freedom, I think, was amazing. Sorry? The biggest things I learned. I mean, there's so many things that you learn from a mentor in life. I mean, 
not just about how to treat people and how to be to people, but I think one thing that he did, which was really strong, is he just wanted to teach you how to create shape. It wasn't about, sorry, spin around for me a little bit. It wasn't about, is this right, is that right? He really just wanted you to see the world from a different angle, excuse the pun. You know, he just wanted you to have a vision and be able to do it with understanding shapes and dimensions. And it was just that loving nature that he gave towards the education. There was no shouting at you. There was no belittling you when you worked. It was all just about giving back. So I want to go for something that's going to, again, make it just a little bit more interesting as we work through here. So what I'm doing is I'm just going for a bit of a, I think what you call it is an anti-head shape. It's essentially, I'm just flattening off the crown just to open up the sides here. And what you'll see is when we start styling the hair, this will all start coming together nicely as one image as well. So that's why I quite like working with little intricate sections and playing with different shapes in different parts of the head. So almost a bit like a jigsaw puzzle. Ah. Sometimes that's the thing. That's why I love cutting hair. Sometimes the, the smallest thing you do will make the biggest difference at the end of it. Just from some little snip. I think with the color, it always brings the next level of dimension to what you're doing. I think that's where the three-dimensional comes into it. And that's why really working with a good, good colorist will take your work to a real another level. Because, you know, I see shape. I, I don't necessarily see color. And I think that's an absolutely amazing thing that you can uh, really add to your work with. So I think that's why working with a good colorist is just an, a huge essential part of your work. I think that's the thing with cutting, you know. We've kind of gone so far with cutting, but when color, there's always something new coming out as well, new technology. You know, I had a good friend of mine who used to always say, hairdressing always changes when a new innovation comes out. Scissors to razor, tongs coming out. These things will give you a, a new dimension to work with. Well, this year, I mean, you know what? I haven't used it yet, but I heard about these colors that, uh, that change when they're under heat. And I love that idea of things changing in front of your eyes. You know, something that's not an optical illusion, something that really, literally just transforms the way they look in front of you. And I think all those kinds of things have an amazing element to work with, you know? I love seeing technology, 3D printing, you know, um, 3D projections. I think all of these things will start coming more and more into the hairdressing industry. And I'm very excited to see what, what people come up with, with videos. So we have to talk a little bit about what happened last night, I think. Yeah. So uh, last night we did an amazing event for charity, for the charity My New Hair. And what they do is they teach hairdressers how to cut and style wigs for people who have lost their hair. So I think this is a really amazing thing. And we were very lucky to have Trevor Sorby come and be the patron of the show. And we had the amazing team from Zagat there. Love Zagat, have to check them out. And uh, we also had Yanni Skumachi with us. And it was a beautiful evening. So if you guys haven't seen anything yet, you can go to Act Hair Event and see all the pictures from last night. Cool. So let me just get a little brush before Freya. You're feeling a bit hairy there. You okay? Yeah, exactly. It's amazing. Well, I know because the videos from Hair Tribe are always so amazing. I just can't wait to see what you guys do with it. It's been very exciting to work with you guys. And I think this whole ethos of teaching people from all different countries is such an important thing. You know, I come from Cyprus as well. And, you know, when you were growing up, the level of education to find was so hard. So I think the idea of opening up education to everyone in the world, not just people who can afford to come sit here today, is a very, very important thing to deal with. We're visual, but we also have something to say. And I think it's important that, you know, we have the platforms to express ourselves as well. As I said, you can be the greatest hairdresser in the world, but if you're on your own in a room, who's gonna see it, right?
the world we live in is about interaction with people. What we do for a living with models and with clients is about interaction with people. So I think that is the case. We always have to bring it back to being with people. And I might even ask someone from the team to come and help me. Come on, why not? So this is the beautiful MJ. Everyone say hi to MJ, make her really embarrassed. Yeah, it's perfect. So what I'm gonna be doing is, you're gonna spray this way, and I'm just gonna bring this up. Yeah. Okay, beautiful. And then this side as well. And just try and come down. Sorry. I don't know. Come this side. It's a bit of dodging, sorry. Cool. And then let's spin around the other way. Come with me here. Come on this side. Perfect. Sometimes it's the little touches that make all the difference. And I think that's something that I absolutely love as well. Okay. So, let's see if I remember how to do finger waves or not. We're about to find out. Okay. Um, no, maybe I'll just grab a comb for myself. Has anyone else found it where they always lose their stuff in their pockets or is it just me? I normally have like 50 things in there. Okay. And just pop your head down a bit, so everyone can see. Pop your head down. Head down, yeah. And this is why I'm saying, sometimes it's those little touches that can make all the difference sometimes. And that's something I really love. It's just a little touch that kind of takes it a little somewhere different. And chin up a bit. So this is just a Davinus gel, and it's just a really kind of quite soft gel, to be honest. In reality, when you're doing these kind of looks, you want to use something a little bit stronger than this. Normally, kind of those really cheap two pound gels actually work the best for these things. So, uh, you know, that's why sometimes, you know, it's just finding the right product to do the right job as well. So hopefully we can see a little bit of inspiration from the waves. 
a little bit of inspiration from the bird, a little bit of inspiration from the snake. Okay, just come over a little bit. Beautiful. All right, so pop your head down a bit. That's great. And so everyone can see what I'm doing. I'm literally pulling the hair from one side. I release my fingers. I put my finger over and I bring it back down again. And it's just as simple as that, just holding your fingers in the right place and pushing it one way and then the next. Yeah, we love questions always. Does anyone think it's a bit weird? It's a little bit weird, isn't it? That's why I like hairdressers. We're all a little bit weird at the end of the day. I think that's good. So I'm from a small town called Lanaka. I mean, uh, the whole population of Cyprus is under a million. So we're a pretty small place, but it's a beautiful place. I got yeah? See, it's a small place, everyone knows each other. Cool. What does everyone think? Cool? Yeah? Nice. Well, hopefully it was something a little bit different, something a little bit inspirational perhaps, and uh, hopefully something that everyone uh, can maybe take a tiny element from. Please stand up for me.